वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल अध्ययन विद फ्लो गाइस दिस इज द फ्लो चार्ट दिस इज द फ्लो चार्ट या दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट इफ यू फील दिस इज कॉम्प्लेक्स देन इट्स ओके वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन ओके वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन बट दिस इज द समरी ऑफ द एनिमल किंगडम दिस इज द समरी लाइक विच किंगडम दे बिलोंग विच लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच लेवल ऑफ सिमेट्री बॉडी कैविटी एंड फाइलम ओके दे बिलोंग्स विथ एनिमिलिया ओके दे डिवाइड इन टू टू कैटेगरी फर्स्ट इज सेलुलर लेवल सेकेंड इज टिश्यू और ऑर्गन लेवल सेलो लेवल्स दे सिमेट्रीज ए सिमेट्रिकल ए सिमेट्रिकल मीन्स इफ आई कट द पर्टिकुलर एनिमल इन सिंगल प्लान सिंगल प्लेन इट मे बी एक्सेस दे डज नॉट डिवाइडेड इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट दे डज नॉट डिवाइड इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट द बॉडी सिलोमिस इफ दे डोंट कंटोन कंटेन बॉडी कैविटी इट मीन्स दे बिलोंग्स विद ए सिलोमेट्स द फाइलम इज पॉलीफेरा टिश्यू लेवल ऑर्गेनिजम दे फर्दर डिवाइड इंटू टू सब कैटेगरी रेडियल एंड बायोलेट्री अकॉर्डिंग टू दर सिमेट्री सम एनिमल शोज रेडियल सिमेट्री सम एनिमल शोज बायोलेट्रिक सिमेट्री रेडियल सिमेट्री इफ दे हैव सिलोम देन वी कैन राइट हेयर सिलोमेट्स बट इफ दे डोंट हैव सिलोमेट्स देन दे आर ए सिलोमेट्स एंड दे फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू टू फाइलम दैट सिलेंट्रेट्स एंड टीनोफिया बोथ आर डज नॉट कंटेन वॉट सिलोम नेक्स्ट इज ऑर्गन लेवल अरेंजमेंट सिमेट्री इज बायोलेट्रल इफ आई पिक अ प्लान दे डायसेक्ट ओनली बायोलेट्रली टॉप टू बॉटम अज्यूम ह्यूमन Okay, if uh, body cavity is present, then we can say it as a cilomet. If not present, we can call it as a acilomet. The an example is platyhelminthes, but they are bilateral and they belong to tissue organ system. First, acilminthes and two, and later arthropoda, mollusca, echinoderma, hemichordata, and chordata. Okay, we will discuss one by one. Okay, in this video, let's discuss about what? Let's discuss about Porifera. According to their name, Porifera means they bear what? They bear pores. Their body contains what? Tiny, 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 tiny pores. Why the use? what is the use of these for they are guys primary level of organism primary level okay they does not contain any well defined tissues and organ system they are primary level organism guys very primary level so they can exchange everything it may be exchange of exchanges of gases it may be exchanges of what food it may be exchanges of excretion product they use what their porous body because they have pore na they are surrounding guys sponges are also helpful for economic importance they have their economic or importance also okay don't forget ha huh? these are important they where are they found marine aquatic medium because guys listen to me throughout the evolution scientists will prove the first the first animal the first living thing is originate in aquatic medium okay throughout the evolution first animal thing first living thing will origin they origin they originate from aquatic they present in marine they are spongy what they have multiple pores they can easily exchange their gases food excretion product by their pores okay now what is osculum osculum is what i'm drawing here look at here if this is the porous body they are attached with substratum bottom of the sea this is the porous body they can easily exchange everything it may be water gases food excretion but they contain a single pore we call it as a osculum with the help of this as, uh, osculum they remove they use to remove anything remove what of course guys remove what waste that's it everything will enter in this channel exit with this channel but maximum removal of waste is out by this osculum remember this word they have spines or not they have spicules or not yes they have spicules so sponges are rigid because of these spicules hermaphrodite hermaphrodite means guys sexes are not separated same same they are bisexual male and female both in one animal male and female both in male and female both in one animal guys what is coenocytes coenocyte we can also call it as a collar cell we can also call it as a collar cell they helpful for same thing exchanges of they use like a sponge seal they use like a canal they they promote vascular uh, vasculatory system they promote food system they promote excretion system they helpful for poriferance coenocytes is helpful for poriferance they are hermaphrodite means male and female present in same organ egg and sperm are produced by the same individual single body they contain egg and sperm what you understand by indirect development indirect means they have larval stage if i use direct it means they does not have larval stage okay example is cycon spongyla and u spongya i recap all thing one by one i will recap for you all thing one by one okay i make point for you guys member of phylum are commonly known as sponges first property they are mostly marine second property they show asymmetrical symmetry means if i cut this animal 
I can't divide into two equal parts. They are primitive and multicellular organisms. I make you points for you guys. I make a point for you. They have cellular organism. They have cellular element. Sponges have water transport or canal system. Water can enter through the minute pore. We can call it as a ostia. If I want to remove, if sponges want to remove their waste, then they require what osculum. They have what sponges see. Next, coenocytes, helpful for transportation. Spicules, they make them rigid. They are hermaphrodite, bisexual. Next is, sponges reproduce asexually. They don't have well elaborate reproductive organ. As well as they pr uh, produce their gametes. So, they produce, reproduce sexually also. Next, they show indirect development. It means they show larval stage. And you have to remember this diagram. You have to learn how to draw this diagram. First, A is, this is one is Sycon. This one is Euspongia. And this is what? Spongula. You have to draw their diagram. Your lab also contains this, uh, is this kind of apparatus. They contain these polyphenols. In your lab, go and check out your biology lab. Clear or not? These are the examples. Sycon, also called Sypha, Spongula, Freshwater Sponge, use Spongia, Bath Sponge. Yes, they use in bath. Okay, guys. So, next phylum, we will discuss in our next video, like Silane Traits in Deiria. We will discuss about in our next video. Okay. Now, today, polyphalance is complete with their example and you have to learn the diagram because this is on your NCRT. You have to learn these this simple, nayar, simple, irregular structure. Irregular, make them simple, now, guys. And guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning and revise. 10 times revise, 100 times revise, 10,000 times revise, 300,000 times revise. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, Adhyan with Flow. Thank you. Thanks a lot.